Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs. And welcome to another edition of Inside Press Box. I'm your host, Stan the Fan Charles. The Ravens are back home this weekend, yet without Ray Lewis once again. Later during the show, writer John Eisenberg will join me to give his take on the team, which is undefeated since Lewis's injury. We'll also talk to Coach Allie Andrzejewski, owner of Champion Soccer Training, as she prepares for a trip to Latin America, where she'll be bringing more than just her knowledge of soccer to hundreds of underprivileged young athletes. But my first guest was hard at work earlier this week as he hosted an off-the-chain holiday party at Dubai Dance Club as a way to collect toys and donations that will benefit a thousand families here in Baltimore during the holiday season. That's Keon Carpenter, retired NFL safety and CEO of the Carpenter House Incorporated. Thanks, Keon, for being here. We have to mention also that Keon Carpenter attended Woodlawn High and also Virginia Tech before a six or seven year career Eight. in the eight-year eight career year, yeah. with the Buffalo Bills and Atlanta Falcons. And you remain one of uh, a, a very good friend of Michael Vick's. Absolutely. I met Mike when he was about 16 to 17 years old, coming to Virginia Tech as a, as a freshman when nobody knew who he was. And we developed a, a great relationship over the years. He's one of my best friends. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy to see him uh, being successful and, and, and back at the game that he loves to play. Yeah, and being quite a stand-up guy now. Oh, and well, he, he's always been that guy. He just yeah. made a huge and a horrible mistake. But, you know, we all have made mistakes in our life, and it's about... Uh, this I've never made one. <laughs> well, you might that's be the first they put, That's why they put erasers <laughs> on pencils because of mistakes. Hey, one of the things that's unbelievable, I hear your name all around town over the years. I used to hear you on with Rob Long a little bit. Paul Mittermeyer's done some stuff with you. But it's, it's always not about Keon Carpenter making money. It's always about Keon Carpenter helping kids. Talk a little bit about what you do and why you do it, Keon. Well, it's my upbringing. Um, the Carpenter House is my nonprofit, my 501c3 um, that we birthed in 2005. Um, and we provide permanent housing for single mothers, single fathers, and low-income families. And from that, I have a lot of different initiatives. One of my newest and my major one is Shutdown Academy um, will be my after school program with a sports component to it. And it'll turn, will turn into a charter school here for boys and girls in the Baltimore area. Um, I just did special delivery yesterday. Now that's a holiday initiative. That's a did. holiday initiative. Okay. Uh, we do every year. We started four years ago with 50 families. Then we did, this year we did a, a thousand families. I also have Commitment for Change. This is my week long summer football camp along with uh, Aaron Mabel, who plays with the Jets, who's also from Baltimore. Brian Johnson, who's with the Texans, who's from Baltimore as well. We team up and do the, one of the best football camps here in Baltimore. Um, and uh, it's just been great, man. It's now, give me, give me those numbers again, the growth, like the special delivery program. You did a couple years ago, fit, you helped 50 like families. 50 families. And then this year we did 1,000. Um, and then commit and helping them means what? We Gifts, we, pro we provide dinners. we provide food, clothes, and toys. I mean, we normally give them. They'll have food for months, um, even beyond the holiday. Um, and they have the in the, the main one of the main issues is that the kids will have gifts under the tree. I mean, we want everybody to be able to have a Christmas. And in 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 our small part that the Carpenter House plays, um, we there it's allowed us to to grow that to a thousand families, and we will grow that each year. That's tremendous. Now. I've got this marker here, or this sheet here, about the youth. If we can bring the camera in on this, uh, probably can't. The Youth Holiday Bowl, uh, camera one, right there, I'm sorry. Holiday Bowl 2011. Tell us about that, Keon. That's coming up next weekend. Next weekend. It's, it's basically a college bowl game for kids. And we created a showcase so that all of the area high school coaches can be able to see these kids under one setting um, at one weekend because, you know, they have their seasons and the kids are playing all over the place. So we invited a lot of the top youth football programs from ages 5, 7, all the way up to 11, 14. They'll do a combine on that Friday and they'll compete two games 
uh, on that Saturday and Sunday. And we're just asking all of the community to come out, celebrate these kids. You know, we want to have two, 3,000 people in the stands just so that these kids can be celebrated from a hard, long journey in the season and they'll be able to play against in front of all of their family and all of their friends. And this is where you played your high school, I, this is, Woodlawn. This is where I was born and raised at Woodlawn High School and they, they've graciously opened up the facilities in the school for us to be able to host such a gracious event. And there is a charge for each team to enter to be in this in this format. Right, so the charge is, is $200 for the teams that's up to eight to ten and then uh from eight to ten on up is two hundred and fifty dollars and that's that, divided amongst the team yeah that's or, divided. or they might get a sponsor or something yeah like and that. it's, it breaks down to like ten dollars a player yeah. something okay. like that and, and, and we just use those funds for the trophies and the things that we want to be able to give out uh to the kids at the end of the tournament all right well listen we appreciate your coming in I promise you right around Super Bowl we're going to have you back on with the president of your uh a carpenter. Uh, I've shut down the, academy. The, the shut down academy, mm -hmm. and that's Christine. Christine Thomas. Christine Thomas. I'll promise I'll have you back on. Real quick, I got about thirty seconds. Why has helping kids always been so important to you? Well, because somebody had once helped me. Um, if had had not God had not blessed me to put some people around me to keep me on a straight and narrow to do the things that I want to do in life, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this interview. So I owe it. Uh, to the people that has came before me. You're paying me. it back. I have to. I'm paying it back and forward. I, I, this, is, this is what I need to do. Thank you very much Thank for you coming for having in. me. Keon Carpenter. When we return, I'll be joined by Ali Andrzejewski of Champion Soccer Training. Stay tuned for that. That's coming up next. Press Box and Sports Authority are celebrating youth sports this year. Register a youth team you know about at PressBoxOnline.com and that team's entire youth organization could win unbelievable discounts at Sports Authority. Go to PressBoxOnline.com for complete details.